where it catches you every once in a while is that you realize, you know, you see players coming in now who have, um, who have children of their own. The second year that I was here in 96, Joe Birch was, uh, was drafted by the Rangers and now he's, he's my boss. <laughs> So when you get when you see things like that along the way, it, it kind of catches you. But uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are you know, cross paths with in this great run. Yeah, I would say the Memorial Cup run um, was uh, fantastic. When we got to the conference finals. Uh, that was pretty cool. And uh, you know, there's always going to be that Ben Finelli factor um, that started off as a bad story, ended up as a fantastic story, and. Every time he walks in and out, I, I just, I get, I kind of get the chills, you know, thinking about, you know, where he was at one point in his life and now where he is such a healthy person. And uh, I'm sure in everybody's career, there's, there's markers. And that was certainly a marker uh, for me and to see, you know, from where he was, you know, in a potentially near death situation to, to being a human being who's fully functional and, and just a great, has a great personality. Um, I'll, that, I will never erase those memories or whatever, but coming back to Kitchener in, in 95 was, was pretty cool, coming home, coming to the odd. It's unreal, like I, I, from the first time you walked in here, it had, a, had a, an aura, a feeling of, you know, just in, a, in an older building, you, had, you know, uh, red and gold seats, and yeah, sometimes you take it for granted, and then you realize, holy, this is, you know, the cornerstone says 1950. Like, there's other facilities in the league that, that have that cornerstone of being built the same year, but this building is aged, you know, way better. And the noises and things that go on in here, like you can literally walk away from the bench and you all can almost predict when the Rangers are gonna score because it's just like this little quiet thing and then an explosion. And uh, you can just, it's a pulse, like uh, you can feel it. I remember back to 2008 when we hosted the Memorial Cup, before we went out, you could literally, the, the room was shaking. Like you could just hear the go Rangers go, chant and, you, and the players just got <laughs> bug-eyed like they just they couldn't believe how much of a pulse there was out there and so it's great fans and it's great to see them coming back after COVID now and, and getting back to that the way it was in, in the past. Work hard and and just never stop learning if there's a day that you know you think you've got it all got it all figured out that could conceivably be your last day on the job, you know. Um, and and also I think try to be a good influence on young people because 16 to 17 years of age go away to, to play and often said to parents when you first meet them that well, you know we'll treat your boy the way that I, I would want my boys treated if they went away to play. So yeah, just work hard and and uh, and continue to learn because the game. Things are constantly changing that way, so you have to be constantly willing to adapt and, and move along and, and, uh, and be a good person.